Hi, my name is James Wenzer, and I work with Matthew Gartenhaus in our Big Datable submission where we quantified defender performance by pass coverage attribute. Uh, the six pass coverage attributes that we decided to focus our submission on were, as we defined them, tracking, closing, ball skills, tackling, interception return, and ball hawk abilities. And these traits really capture the skills needed to defend against the pass from the beginning to the end of a play. How we wanted to quantify these attributes was from a points perspective, because that's the currency of the game. And so we were able to quantify how many points a defender saved or costed his team based on these attributes. Uh, in order to do that, we, this is really the machinery of our submission is we created and predicted EPA values throughout the course of a play in real time. So similar to last year's Big Data Bowl where they predicted the yardage result of a running play at the time of a handoff, we for passing plays predicted both the pass result and then the yards of that result conditioned on it. And this enabled us to create EPA predictions based on player tracking data such as positioning and speeds of the players in real time throughout the course of a play. And so an example play that we have shows Baker Mayfield throwing a deep pass to Jarvis Landry for a touchdown in the 2018 season. And it shows how we were able to, in real time, predict the EPA value of a target to any receiver prior to a pass. And then once the target was established, we could create EPA predictions based on time of the pass attempt, arrival, outcome, and then eventual play outcome. What all of the, that predicting and modeling enabled us to do was then look at how the EPA shifted throughout the course of the play to hone in on those attributes that we touched on earlier in the presentation. And so for the sake of time in this presentation, we're gonna go through one attribute, but we did pretty analogous um, reasoning for the other ones, and that's all in our, in our Kaggle submission. Uh, but we're gonna talk about ball skills here. So the ball skills attribute looks at how a defender performs between the time of the pass arrival and the pass outcome. Pass arrival being when the ball is nearing the receiver by about two and a half yards away. Um, and the example that we have here is walking through a Xavier Howard pass breakup where as the ball is arriving to AJ Green, it's about two and a half yards away, our model predicts the EPA of the play to be positive 0.4 points. And after Xavier Howard uh, succeeds in the pass breakup, the actual EPA result was negative a half of point from the perspective of the offense. So on this one play, we would say Xavier Howard saved 0.9 points. Now looking at all defenders over the entirety of the season, when they were challenged with a pass attempt and then got to this point with ball skills, Xavier Howard ended up being the number one defender in man coverage, saving a little over three touchdowns worth of points. And Eddie Jackson was the top zone guy, saving a little over two. Uh, and then to wrap it up, we looked at these attributes at a high level and we're able to summarize the relative importance of these attributes in terms of a defense's ability to save points. And we did that by looking at all of the EPA shifts and all these plays over the entirety of the 2018 season, and then seeing what percent of that shift each attribute was, rel was responsible for. And what we found was that ball skills was the most important attribute, closely followed by tracking ability, which together made up over 60% of the EPA shifts. So that kind of shows that those two attributes are relatively important compared to the rest. Okay, so an advantage of developing metrics that have place level scoring is we're able to view different cuts of the data. Leveraging a dashboard we built in R Shiny, we can see how our players rate not just holistically, but also look at specifics down to the coverage type and or specific routes they may be covering. By displaying the data in this manner, teams are able to not only gain a better overall view of a player, but deep dive down into particular scenarios or even individual plays to understand what makes a player effective or ineffective. Leveraging these defensive metrics will enable teams to make more data-driven personnel and coaching decisions. In terms of personnel decisions, our metrics can be used to evaluate free agents and identify similar players to fill in potential gaps that occur in between seasons. In terms of coaching these decisions, these metrics will enable coaches to provide targeted coaching down to individual routes, helping players thrive in their strengths and grow in their weaknesses. These metrics will also enable teams to develop targeted game strategies, aligning certain defenders to receivers with certain skill sets, such as a good tracking defender on Tyreek Hill or offenses attacking defenders with certain route weaknesses. We believe these metrics will provide granular and global player evaluations for front offices and aid coaches in developing targeted coaching 
and game planning on an individual player basis. Thank you.